Hi, we're going to do a quick video today on how to mark out a grass tennis court for your own little slice of Wimbledon at home this summer. Step one, obviously, get the Joes team in to sort yourself a grass tennis court. Step two, give the court a cut. We're going to work the height down to playing height of around nine millimetres today. Step three, get some equipment out. Today, we're just using the cheapest stuff available. So we've got a spray can line marker, obviously some white spray can paint, uh, a good long bit of string, a long tape measure, and some nails to hold the string in place. Now we're gonna start marking out. Um, there's more than one way to skin a cat, so I've just picked today the way that I find easiest. Um, and we're going to stick to imperial measurements. We're going to go old school. Okay, step four. Uh, at this point, you need to establish your net. So, have you got posts fitted in the ground, or have you got a movable net? Obviously, if you've got posts fitted in the ground, then we're going to build our lines directly off those positions. If you've got a movable net, um, then it's just important at this stage to mark your position of the net relative to the core. Okay, so we've got our center mark in between the posts. Now we're gonna measure 18 feet in either direction. So now we're going to mark straight off our doubles line from the centre down the court to find our first corner point. Uh, the total court length is 78 feet, so we're looking for 39 feet. Now obviously at this point it's hard to work out where the square line is, so um, a little thing we're going to do is we're going to get a 39 feet and just mark an arch in the ground and on the next step you'll see where the two cross over. Now to make sure it's square we need a bit of trigonometry something like that. Um, we've got to measure from the far corner to here and do the same again. Put a, just scratch an arc in the ground and where the two align will be our squared off point. So at this stage, we're looking for 53 feet and seven eighths of an inch. If that makes any sense to you at all, uh, I knew we should have stuck into in, 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 in metric, but anyway, uh, we're going to scratch that in the ground now. Okay, so now we've done the same on the other side. We've measured straight down the court and diagonally again and etched them in and put a nail there. So now we're going to do the moment of truth, measure up the two and see if it reaches 36 feet. Okay, we've measured out both corners. Now we're going to do the moment of truth again. Looking for 36 feet. And there it is, sports fans. So we've got our four corners now, center line marked. Um, so that is our rectangle. We know we're working off a, a square area now. Uh, so we've done the hard bit. Um, now we're gonna mark out the full rectangle around the edges, uh, and then we'll fill in the lines afterwards. So we have done our first line. We've done it in two directions, just to get a slightly thicker line with the aerosol uh, marker. 
Um, and now we've run the string for all the other corners and we're going to do them in, in one take for you. Okay, next step is to establish our single sideline, uh, which is exactly 4.5 feet from the double sideline. So what we're going to do, we've still got our nails in the corners. We're just going to measure 4.5 feet inside the court. Same this end, same that end, and the same on the other side as well. And then we're going to repeat the process, mark the lines. So we've done our... Uh, double lines, single side lines and now the last thing is the, the service box so to do this we want to measure 18 foot from the baseline uh, down the left hand side put one of our nails in same down the right hand side put a nail in and we're going to then spray a line directly between the two we're going to do the same on the other side of the court and then we're down to the last step Now we're on the last line, uh, which is 18 feet from either corner uh, into the middle. We're going to measure this end, then we're going to measure the far end, and then we're going to draw the line in. Just remember to only fill in the line on the service box, and I'm told four inches either end. So let's hit some balls. So let's hit some balls. So let's hit some balls. One action. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh. Three, what two, do, one, do, action. <laughs> oh no, that's creepy. Okay. <laughs> Alright, the laugh will be okay. So let's just give one a go. Go for it. What now? No, I think it is. Ready when yeah. you are. Go. Okay. Uh, step one, get the Joe's team in to sort out your lawn, turn it into a grass tennis court. If you haven't got one already. <laughs> okay. Hi, grass court fast approaching. Thought we'd do a quick video on how to mark out your lines. <laughs> 